Lindsay with TFE Style and today I'm going to be showing you how to take these boring and expensive glass candle holders from Ikea and spruce them up. Um, we had recently used these in a wedding that I decorated for and I just want to show you how you can take something plain and um, really easily make it look a ton better. So um, the first one we're going to do is this one right here and you can see it's just um, got like a gold rim of glitter. Um, I didn't want them to both be the same, so this one we went really light on the top. I played with a couple different ways of doing this, and I want to show you guys the easiest way. Um, I'm using the Martha Stewart metallic um, gold paint. It's called Medallion. Um, I tried painting it on. I tried dipping it into a big glob of it, all different things, and um, none of it seemed to work quite right. So the best thing I found to do was to pour just a little. I like to use a paper plate because it's rimmed. It'll keep all of your paint in there. So pour it on, then take a brush and just spread it out so it's a very thin layer on your plate and it's pretty even. So you're kind of covering the whole plate. You just don't want it too, the paint to be too deep. And once you've got a nice even layer on there, the first uh, candle we're going to use, it's called the, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's like Gale J, if you're looking for it at Ikea, G-A-L-E-J. So I'm going to take one of those and you're just going to flip it upside down and really lightly put it down in the paint and kind of spin it around to get it all the way covered. Then you're going to pick it up and I've got another plate here where I've sprinkled my fine or it's an extra fine gold glitter. This one I picked up at Walmart, it was pretty cheap. Um, and you're just gonna go straight down in it and lightly touch your paint to the glitter. You can knock off any excess and then let it dry. That's it, you're done with that one. The next one, just super easy, um, but it takes just a little bit longer is this gold kind of distressed looking one. I didn't want a, a solid coat of gold because the wedding was kind of a rustic theme. So we went with this one so that it looked a little bit banged up. Um, and what I used was gold spray paint. Um, and I'm going to show you a little trick. If you don't have any, if you live in an apartment, you don't have anywhere outside, or a craft room or garage or anything that you can use to spray paint in, um, you can just get a cardboard box like this um, and cover it with newspaper and then use that for like a little spray booth for your spray paint. Make sure you give it a good shape. I got mine done ahead of time, so shouldn't need much more, but just set your Set your candle holder in there and get the whole outside with a good coat of spray paint. And while it's wet, you want to pick it up. I grab it from the inside with my fingers. So one on the bottom, one on the top. And paint. get your glitter and you're just going to roll it gently through the glitter. So it doesn't have to get it, the glitter all over the entire piece. Just need a little bit. Um, if you miss some spots, great, because now what you're going to do, it's going to get a little messy, is you're going to take your finger and over your glitter, you're just going to kind of lightly brush all the way around the glass. And it'll kind of clump up in some spots, and it'll knock all the way off in others, and that's okay. That's kind of what you're going for, is that uneven glittered look so that it looks aged. And that's it. And when the candle is in there, it looks awesome. So... That's it, super easy, super cheap. Um, if you guys end up posting or making some of your own, come back here and post pictures, I'd love to see them.